Okay, well, this is my first attempt at what I like to call sit-down comedy. Now, why do I call it sit-down comedy? Well, first of all, I'm not exactly standing up at the moment, am I? No. Um, next, of course, is because I'm well known for my incessant Dennis Leary style sort of, uh, sort of rants and, you know, I've always kind of just typed those out on the computer, you know, echo mail networks and message posts and whatever else and, you know, I've never really just, uh, you know, stuck that in like, uh, an audio file, well, except for like, uh, pointless audio radio show and, uh, round table and, and such on, uh, ospreynet.info. Um, check out that website, and um, all that stuff should be in the archive. But, um, <laughs> you know, besides that, I've never really tried any of that. Plus, like, this is the first time I've ever owned, like, a camp order at all, period. So, um, definitely uh, never done that on the video uh, end of the perspective. And, um, well, I think I'm going to start off my first one here with one of everyone's favorite topics, that being, uh, brainwashing because you know how some people um you know how they they say that um a person can be intelligent but um people overall are just stupid so anything you do you can do it together as persons or you can do it as people you know lemmings all going over the cliff uh together and um <clears throat> you know of course the uh <coughs> Of course, we're all socially brainwashed, like, practically from birth. Um, you know, governments, corporations, television ads. <coughs> all this sorts of stuff. Um, you know, how many people just, like, buy stuff just because the commercial said to? And, I mean, it's, like, freaking ridiculous. Um, not too, too long in the past at a local uh, grocery store over here. There was this stupid fucking thing that they sold, I swear to God. It was just this little bitty um, balsa wood block, and it was called the weight loss block. And they sold it for 99 cents, and this little, little tag attached to it, right? And you read the tag, and it said, Directions. Put the block in the center of the floor. Walk around it four times. Lose weight. And people bought this thing like crazy. I mean, my God, that's like worse than than Bill Gates making windows and in industry standard as up and flawed as that is. I mean, that's worse than this because I swear to God, I wish I could just take some some crap, okay? Just just whatever. Oh, here's this awesome fucking lighter, whatever, and you know, like mass produce it for a penny each and sell it for 99 cents and just, you know, get rich because everybody's gonna buy this. Why? Well, because it's being sold at the counter of a popular store. You know, put that in the counter of, like, some mom and pop little, you know, shop or something, some little discount mart, you know, run by, you know, Joe Bob or whatever, and that's just, just gonna sit there. No one's going to buy it. They're gonna look at that and go, why am I gonna buy this? This is fucking stupid. But you go into a major grocery store where there's like 10,000 people that shop there a day and the things just sell like crazy. Oh, well, you know, if this, this, this reputable grocery store is selling it, then obviously this thing's pretty damn cool, so I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, morons. <laughs> um, and of course, the very first form of brainwashing that we are ever exposed to, especially in the, in the school systems here in the United States, is, by the government, the Pledge of Allegiance. You know, you say this every day, and you really think about the words as to what it means. Okay, let's review. I pledge allegiance to the flag. No, not, not to the the people of this country. You're not pledging allegiance to, uh, to do the right thing, to help your fellow man, to, uh, make sure your, your country remains, uh, prosperous, or, or, you know, no loyalties to any, any people or anything that matters. You're, you're pledging your allegiance to a piece of cloth. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. 
Now this next part's kind of disturbing. And to the Republic for which it stands. Wait a minute, I thought we were a democracy. What is a Republic? A Republic is basically a dictatorship. Um, where you have a ruling elite upper class, um, which is the, the minority of the people, which um, the majority of the people, which is a basically a, a peasant class, does most of the work, hardly gets compensated at all, uh, most of whom are either just living okay or living in poverty or whatever, towards the benefit of this upper elite class who are, you know, living in the lap of luxury. So, you are pledging your allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic, not to the democracy, but to the republic for which this flag stands. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a big problem with that, okay? Um, uh, my allegiances are to myself, to my family, to God, and to the people of this country, to my local community, to my city, to my state, and to all 50 of these states, to do the best I can as a citizen of this country for the overall, you know, well-being of the country, because united we stand, divided we fall, right? Or lately people have been saying divided we fail, uh, which is true also. So yeah, I have a big problem with the whole republic thing, especially, you know, with George W. Idiot and his reign of terror for the last eight years, and all the, the economy being, you know, the worst since, uh, you know, the Great Depression, um, not quite as bad as that yes, yet, but we're getting close, and just all this bullshit, you know, I mean, it's like you spend three dollars on a bag of air, which just so happens to, as a courtesy, contain a little bit of chips in it, um, you know, welcome to the age of scam, so yeah, that's a big, huge problem, um, you know, to where just everybody's lying, just getting away with scandals and, and everything else, and it's just, it's, it's fucked up. Okay, to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, well, <laughs> I definitely have yet to see the whole liberty and, and justice for all thing going on. Um, liberty and justice for the well-connected, maybe. Liberty and justice for the extremely rich, whereas if you have enough money, you can break laws left and right.